Today, we will look at an overview of the student's portal. Uh, as we had earlier done in the previous video, showing you how to activate. Once you've activated, you're now within the portal. And this is how it looks like. Uh, you see your photo here, you can do a preview and have a look at it. If it needs to be updated, that can also be updated. It shows your name and then your student number. And then here it also shows you your program. This is a Master of Science in Computer Science. It shows the current year and then the current semester. If you've enrolled, this will turn to blue. And if you've registered, this will also turn to blue. So get payment reference. This is where you can uh, decide to, you see if you want to deposit, say uh, 400,000, you can come and generate a PRM for that. And this is the payment reference number that you'll have to take down and go to your nearest bank or you can use uh you know mobile money payments or even visa to pay and the instructions on how to pay for mobile money are on our website how to pay for mobile money so if you want to pay with airtel you dial star 185 hash or star 165 hash and then you know select option 4 pay bill option 7 URA option 1 pay registered and then you enter your PRN or PTN number and then with mobile money you also follow the same instructions this link is on our website so I can close that and if I've not paid in, a, in the specified time expiry date is this the, it, it will expire and come under expired references, meaning you can no longer use that. And this is where the expired references come. Active references are here. The next thing to check out is you can check the status of your PRN. So you can go and copy that PRN and paste it here and then you search and, and check for the status. Enrollment and registration. If you want to enroll, uh, you have to know your year of study. Is it year one or year two? And then when you're enrolling, you enroll, these are the different options. Amnesty, this is preserved for the registrars to be able to help you. Uh, if you're a continuing student, you enroll as a continuing student. If you're doing retakes after the final year, you'll also enroll as that. Extension, this is only for postgraduates only. When you're a finalist and you have no retakes, you enroll as a finalist. When you're a fresher, that is first year, first semester, you enroll as a fresher. And when you have some issues, uh, they can put you on step put and you can roll as a step put. If you have uh, retakes, you'll be able to say no, I mean yes, you click yes if you do have. And then the options come up, you first register the, the retakes that you have to register and then they'll be added. But if you don't have, and then you, if you don't have, you just click enroll and then you'll be able to enroll. So I could say here to uh, finalist and then I click enroll. And then it brings up all the different options, academic year, you know, semester year two, finalist enrolled by, you know, the enrollment token, the data enrolled and how much I have to pay for the tuition. And then for this, I have to generate a PRN as well. And it will bring up the payment reference number. So you can check out your, your enrollment history, your registration history. This means I haven't registered, but if I'd registered, it would also show. Uh, if, there, if there is information that needed to be migrated or so, it will show here as well, as you can see. And then, you know, results. For now, it's grayed out because uh, they're still doing migration of results to the portal. And then the different services. Uh, you can apply for an ID, this being a first year. You know, you can apply for a refund or a change of program. This applies really to first years. Service history will also show there. Complaints, this is still under construction, but you'll be able to lodge your complaints all through. Uh, my bio data, as you can see, this is how it looks like. If something is not right, you, you reach out to the different authorities and they'll update. Academic details, everything is there. You have to ensure that all details are right. Guardians, these also have to be put there. They're very important. Next of kin, this has to be put there. And then change of password. I can change my password through here. I type in the old one here and then put in the new one and confirm and change my password. 
and then academic calendar. This is it for the overview of the portal. We will take you through the next bit of enrolling and registering. Thank you, and let's continue building for that.